In this video, I will be showing you how to calculate a scale with survey data. Uh, a scale is also known as a composite. So let me go ahead and open uh, Google Sheets. Now you may be using Excel, which will be very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this first file here that says HS Survey Data. This is actually survey data uh, that has to do with human sexuality. Now you can see column A there, uh, participant number. Uh, well, that lists the participant number. That is just used to keep the data organized. And then we have column B, C, D, E, and F all start with an M. Those are all questions that have to do with um, the mother. How comfortable you are discussing certain sexual topics with your mother. And then we see column G, H, I, J, K all start with an F. Those are all questions that have to do how comfortable you are discussing certain topics with your father. And then we have column M, N, O, P. All questions that have to do with uh, discussing sexual topics uh, with your partner. And then we have Q, R, S, T, and U. They all start with BF. How comfortable you are discussing certain sexual topics with your best friend. It looks like I have an extra column over here. Let me go ahead and delete that. Okay. Now I do want an extra column here um, because I want to create a composite. Um, I want to uh, determine how comfortable uh, my participants are overall discussing uh, these um, sexual topics. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new column, a new variable. I'm going to uh, click at the top there of age, and then I'm going to click this little icon that has a little plus to the left. And that gives me a column to the left of age. Okay, now I'm going to give that a name, and I'm going to call it, for lack of a better word, whole scale. So that's going to be my entire scale, how comfortable my participants are discussing sexual topics as a whole, with their mother, their father, their partner, their best friend. So I'll click the little check mark to indicate that I'm finished. Okay, and now I'm, I'm going to calculate the averages going across there. So I'm going to click on the first available cell under whole scale. I'm going to click on FX, and then I'm going to look for statistical. Then I'm going to click on average, because I'm going to calculate the average going across. Okay, and now I'm going to select the data. I'm going to start with M6, and I'm going to drag that all the way across until I have selected the um, last data for, the, um, for BF, their disease, the last one. Okay, I've done that, now I'm going to click the little check mark, and there I have the average of 4.6. That's how comfortable participant number two is discussing sexual topics as a whole. So that would be for the entire scale. Now I want to do that for all my participants. And in order to do that now, what I do is I select that, that cell there at the top with the 4.6, and I'm going to... Uh, click on the little dot there and I'm going to drag that all the way down until I find the last uh, data point right there. Okay, scroll back to the top and click, uh, uh, at the, click on the number again and see there it says autofill. I'm going to click on that and now I have the average for all my participants. So that's how comfortable uh, my participants were discussing sexual topics as a whole. Now I can also create um, other scales, uh, other composites um, for different categories. I can create, let's say, a scale or a, comp a composite that only has to do with the mother. That would include M sex, M contra, M porn, M. X, sex T, which stands for sexual difficulties, uh, M disease, so how comfortable you are discussing those topics with your mother as a whole. I can create a composite for the mother, for the father, uh, for 
the partner and for the best friend. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. Again, I'm going to click on age because I want um, those composites uh, to the left of age. Click on the little icon there that has a little plus to the left. Okay, um, let's click it again. Again and again. So I've created four columns there for my four new variables. The first one, um, well, or the second one, um, after whole scale, I'm going to call that one uh, my M scale. So that's going to be my composite or my scale that indicates how comfortable participants were talking about sexual topics uh, with their mother. Okay, and then I'm going to create another one to the right of that. I'm going to call that the F scale indicating how com comfortable participants were talking about sexual topics with their father. And then to the right of that, I'm going to create P scale, how comfortable you are discussing sexual topics with your partner. And then to the right of that is going to be, is going to be um, BF scale, how comfortable you are discussing sexual topics with your best friend. Okay, so I've created all my subscales there. So let's um, create uh, the composite then. Let's calculate the composite scores, this, uh, the scores under um, M scale. So I'm going to click on the top there, that first available uh, cell under M scale. Again, I go to FX, I go to statistical, I go to average, and now I'm going to select the data uh, that I want to calculate the average for. So I'm going to go all the way to the left, and I'm going to start again uh, with column B, row 2, M sex, but this time I'm only going to select those columns that begin with an M, because this is the M scale. So these would, this would be a composite. Um, for questions that have to do with your mother. Okay, so I've done that. I'm going to click the little check mark. And there I have my average. My average is uh, 5 for my uh, first uh, participant there under M scale. Now I want the average or the composite for the rest of the participants. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag that all the way down until I get to my last data point there okay scroll back to the top click on the number click on autofill and now I have the average for that M scale okay I can do the same thing for F scale P scale BF scale and have all my subscales there basically so I have a whole scale that reflects all the questions that have to do with uh, with sexual topics and then I have M scale, F scale, P scale, BF scale for questions that have to do with, you know, uh, discussing sexual topics with different people. Okay. And um, when I am done, I would have something that looks like this. So I'm going to open up HS survey data uh, with results. Actually, it doesn't have the results. It just has the, all the scales there. So if I go all the way to the right... You'll see that I have my whole scale there, the M scale, F scale, P scale, BF scale, and all the data there. Now you can uh, calculate uh, correlations with those various scales. And let's say age, you can see if there's a correlation between age and how comfortable you are discussing things with your father, with your partner, with your best friend, with your mother. Uh, you can do t-tests. You can see if there's a difference, for instance, between males and females, how comfortable they are discussing sexual topics as a whole, or how comfortable, how comfortable they are discussing sexual topics maybe only with their mother, uh, with their father, with their partner, with their best friend. So now that I have this various subscales, I can do those correlations. I can do those t-tests. And remember, I recorded a separate video that showed you how to do that. 
That is all.